Hello and welcome to another episode of Game Hunters Are Us. Uh, to make up for the long video that I did last time, the 18 minute one that I'm sure a lot of you weren't too happy to sit through and watch, but uh, thank you if you did. Uh, this video is going to be a little bit shorter. Um, sorry I haven't posted anything in a while. Um, Ben's been posting stuff while I haven't been, I've been busy with projects and stuff, so Ben's been uh, really been helping out. And uh, it is a joint channel, so it's good to see him, uh, him putting some stuff up. Um, so if you haven't seen them already, go back and check his, uh, his pickups video. And uh, he also did a, his first thoughts or first, first uh, review of uh, tomb, the new Tomb Raider. So uh, if you haven't seen them, go check them out. And uh, so let's get started. Um, I'm just going to show you the pickups. I don't have any game footage or hunting footage uh, just because it's just a lot of work trying to, to go out and get stuff and film and... There just hasn't been a whole lot out there recently, um, so I'll show off. We'll show off what I got. Uh, I first got uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 on the Dreamcast. Uh, I don't have a Dreamcast yet, but it's in preparation for a Dreamcast, so it'll be there. Um, I got a lot of PlayStation 2 games as I always get. Um, start got uh, the Getaway. It's pretty cool and complete. Uh, Jeopardy. <laughs> I don't know why I get these game, game games, I guess, game show games. Uh, but they're kind of funny. Complete. I also have, uh, Wheel of Fortune on the N64 and, of course, my Monopoly games. Uh, Max Payne on PlayStation 2. Complete. Dynasty Warriors 3. Complete. Another bad game that I, I always get suckered into buying bad games because I just think they're funny to play. But uh, it's Scorpion King. <laughs> uh, Rise of the Acadian. Complete. And Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Complete. Um, these games I got, these ones are incomplete. Uh, they're just the case and the game, but uh, still pretty happy to have them. It's the first Ratchet and Clank, which I don't have. I have a crap load of other ones uh, that I showed in my first game pickups video. And the whole stack of PS2 games, I had like five or six of them. So uh, that one's just the game. And I also got Spyro A Hero's Tale. Just the game. And those were both uh, $2.00. The other ones are about two to three dollars each as well. Um, I got a game from Ben a while ago, uh, and I've been meaning to show everyone. And it is Alice Madness Returns, the Xbox 360. Um, I haven't played it yet, but I watched Ben play it, and it looks pretty fun. Kind of reminds me of the old, the old school games, the 3D platforming and things like that, with a sadistic side to it. Um, I did a trade with a bunch of the uh, the Nintendo powers. I took the ones that I wanted out of it and I traded the other ones off. Actually, one of the games is right here that I need to throw in. Um, so this guy came over, he looked through all the magazines, he just wanted one or two and then he said, oh well, what do you, what do you want for all of them? So I gave him my price and he said, are you interested in trades? I see you have Xbox and Stuff like that. And I said, sure. So he went down to his car he, in the parking lot and he opened up. And this guy, he he's a collector. He knows his stuff. He knows what, he's, he, knows what he has. Um, and he got some, some pretty awesome deals. Uh, and he was kind enough to let me have uh, some, some pick out of it. So uh, like he had Secret of Mana for the Super Nintendo. Uh, just sitting there. I was trying to convince him to give it to me. But uh, he, he was kind of holding on to it for uh, a better trade. Um, so anyways, I traded in the Nintendo Powers for uh, some cash, and then I got Street Fighter Anniversary Collection for the original Xbox, complete, and then I got Hitman Absolution for the Xbox 360, complete, and this is the Walmart exclusive version, and it has the high roller suit and the Krugermeyer 2x2 pistol, um, and that's just a, the uh, the online download code, 
and those that was, still hadn't been used so I managed to get that was a pretty good deal that those were still in there alright now on to the best find in the past two weeks actually probably ever it <clears throat> probably won't mean a whole lot to a lot of you but I think it's pretty cool um, I've always liked racing games uh, I've never been good at them, but I do like them. Like I especially love the burnout games, uh, mostly arcade style. Um, but when I came across this, sitting at Value Village, first of all, I was just dumbfounded that it was still just sitting there and no one had taken it, especially for the price that it was at. Um, so here it is. I will show you. It is the original Xbox steering wheel with force feedback, and it has the pedals as well. Um, it doesn't have the AC adapter but it just that by itself and uh, it was sitting on the shelf for eight dollars complete just these two pieces and the wire that connects them for eight dollars and I was just blown away I was com I was on the bus coming home from school and I just popped in and I said oh man I really want this but how am I gonna get it home um, but luckily they had a big enough bag and I ended up just lugging it home on the bus so that was pretty cool cool um, it does work if you guys aren't familiar with it it does work with the battery pack there's a little thing here you can plug in the Xbox uh, battery pack um, if you're using the battery pack it does not support force feedback um, so I was a little disappointed with that um, so I looked at some forums online and tried to or eBay and trying to see what I could get for uh, for an AC adapter for it um, and some are saying, oh, you got to go to Radio Shack, or you have to make sure the voltage is right. And I saw one guy who just said, oh, I just plugged in my laptop cord and it worked. So I just figured, what the hell? So for 8 bucks, I threw in my uh, my laptop cord, and sure enough, the thing just went, and it works, and it's force feedback. So I've been racing around on Forza 4 and Forza Horizon, and I've just been having a blast doing it. So I'm definitely happy to have this. It's, it's a great... I'm having a lot of fun with it. Um, so yeah, uh, hope you guys are enjoying the videos. Make sure to like, comment, like, comment, subscribe, or any of that good stuff. And uh, we'll see you guys next time.